Good afternoon. Uh, so my name is Jill Brinston and I am the business manager for National Career Service uh, in Devon and Cornwall. So I'm going to talk to you today about um, the employee support that National Career Service offer. So um, I'm going to let you into a huge secret. This is this is the best known secret probably that National Career Service offer support to employers and employees. So over the uh, course of the next few slides, what I'm going to do is explain a little bit about how we work, what we do, what my team of careers advisors can offer you, and then hopefully you'll be very interested and uh, will get in touch with me and my team. So um, the contacts are on my slides, and I believe that the slides are going to be made available after the end of this uh, session. So please do get in touch. Next slide, please. So uh, National Career Service, as I said, um, we work with those who are in employment. So we spend a lot of time working with employers, helping employers meet their needs. So uh, we help to recruit. So and a lot of employers talk to us about uh, skill shortages, trouble with recruiting, all of those kinds of things. So those are all aspects of career related activities that me and my team can deliver. We uh, offer a bespoke service, so it's not an off the shelf package. It's very much dependent on employer needs and the needs of the employee as well. So um, as part of the disability confident program, excuse me, program, we can support employers and employees with a, their very much individual needs. Next slide, please. Um, so our careers advisors and they're all qualified to level four or level six. So you can be reassured that they're giving out best quality careers advice and guidance. Um, we are funded by the DfE. Um, and we are um, required to be impartial and provide the best possible information. Uh, so we work with local market information, local intelligence. Uh, as I say, it's completely free and impartial. And we work with anybody who's over the age of 19. So those are the only criteria to enable us to work with someone. So our careers advisors will uh, carry out workforce audits for you, if that's something you would like us to do on your behalf. Uh, after we've completed those audits, we can identify any training needs. So people who perhaps been in, in a role for a while um, may want to progress to a different role, perhaps as a trainer or um, someone who's head of department or something like that, or perhaps do something completely different within your organisation. So we can have a look at their current training uh, needs and anything that they would like to do in the future. After we've had those appointments, we do a tailored development plan. We call them action plans. Um, so they we will provide all of the information they need. We will provide warm handovers to training providers if that's the route that they would like to go. Uh, we also work with other organisations to help improve um, people who are currently looking for work. So, for example, we work with job centres. We work with employability programs. So they may have people on their caseloads already and with our help to help them prepare for interviews, uh, perhaps, uh, perhaps work with their CVs, perhaps improve some of their skills so we can look to fill those uh, vacancies that you may have. And um, another aspect, we don't necessarily like talking about it, but something we do is to support employers and employees with anything redundancy related. Next slide, please. So um, what I'm going to do over the course of the next couple of slides is just go through in a little bit more detail some of the ways that my team can actually um, provide that practical hands on support for you and your employees. Next slide, please. So recruitment. Um, so as I mentioned, we work with um, people on our own caseloads and we also work with a lot of other organisations who have people who are currently looking for work or currently looking for a change role. So we can help find those skilled people. So if you're able to tell us what you're looking for, uh, we will probably have those people already on our caseloads or with one of our um, stakeholders or other contracts. So we can help find identify those really good quality um, candidates for your roles. 
um, we can help improve the quality of applications. So we quite often attend careers fairs, careers events, employer days, recruitment days, those kinds of things. And one of the conversations that I frequently have with employers is um, the low quality of applications they receive. Um, sometimes that's just down to um, candidates not quite knowing what to fill in an application form. So something very practical like helping them fill application forms is something that we can do. Um, we can also help pre-screen. Um, your applicants so you may be bombarded your your advert may be really fantastic and lots of people want to come and work with your company um, and you maybe feel that you're inundated with applicants so we can help pre-screen and pre-interview for for you if that's something you would like to do next slide please Retention of talent. So whenever I talk to employers, the first thing they say to me is, you're not going to get my employees to leave, are you? And I can categorically say that's absolutely not what we want to do. We want employees to feel valued and wanted and feel that they can progress within your employment. Um, so there's a various, there's a whole range of tools and activities that we do with your employees, but just to give you a flavour of the kind of things we do. So we do something called um, career health checks and skill health checks. So that's um, tools and activities that we use to very quickly analyse where they're at currently. So that gives us a re really clear picture of what's needed. So, for example, they may have been doing a job very successfully for 20 years or something, but don't necessarily have the qualifications to back up. And certainly if they want to apply for a different role within your company, they may feel that they need that qualification to back up their application. So we can have a look at that. Um, so we work with all of the local training providers, we we'll work with national training providers, and we also work with organisations who have funding to spot purchase very bespoke training pieces. Um, so we can identify that and, and help them through that and do the warm handover. So don't necessarily have to go through the enrolment process within FEs and HE environments. So we can do that piece to help people through. Um, and as you may be aware, um, a couple of years ago, the government launched a Skills for Life initiative. So that's basically ensuring that everyone's qualified to a good standard. So um, there's a lot of employees don't have a level two or level three qualification. So that's something we can help with. Um, and it's something that um, whether to suit you and your employee. It could be they do day release. They could be digital courses that they attend. Um, in their spare time, it could be that trainers go into your environment. So these are all conversations that we can have with you and training providers just to get the best possible outcome for you and your employees. Next slide, please. So this one is about redundancy. So as I said, it's not something that we like talking about, but it's a necessary thing we have to do. So it's it's reassuring to you to know that this support um, exists for you. So we can help your employees understand. So if they're um, at risk of redundancy or have um, been made redundancy and are currently working through, we can help them understand their op options and next steps. So usually um, all kinds of thoughts go through employees' minds when um, they've been made redundant or about to be, um, and quite often they, they get very scared, understandably. So me and my team can help and um, help them realise what their options are. So we again, we do various activities with them to identify what they would like to do next. So some people like to stay in the same kind of role, but just need to find another employer offer, offering the same similar role. Other people take the opportunity of looking at redundancy as a way of doing something else that they've perhaps fancied doing but never actually done. So it may be a case that they want to retrain to do something else. It may be a case that they want to start their own business, for example. Uh, so we can have all of those conversations and take it forward with them to see where they want to go. Again, there's an awful lot of funding out there for people who are either at risk or in redundancy. So we work with various organisations who provide that funding to help retrain, upskill so they can go straight into work. Um, we can help um, with practical things such as applications, interview practice. So if someone's been 
in employment for a while, then they're quite often a little bit out of the loop in terms of common and up to date sort of interview practices and what to put on a CV and those kinds of things. So we can help with that. Um, wherever possible, we try and link them up with um, employers in the area who are also recruiting. So it's it's been a scenario in the past where people have um, finished a job on a Friday and started with a new employer on a Monday. So we're able to make that connection. And we also work in tandem with other agencies if people would like us to. So we work very closely with uh, people offering training. We work with uh, job centres and DWPs. We work with housing and those kinds of organisations as well. So we are able to make those warm handovers and connections. Uh, so we don't just hand out fact sheets and, and lists of names and contacts. We will actually um, make those connections for you if that's something you'd like to do. Next slide, please. OK, so hopefully I've whetted your appetite and I've given you some information about how National Career Service can, can support people in employment and support employers. So on this slide here, I've got my contact details, jill.brinsden at ctechplus.co.uk. Don't expect you to remember that. As I said, um, I do believe that you're getting copies of these slides after today. So thank you very much for listening today and um, please do get in touch if we can help you. Thank you.